Massachusetts afternoon Hanging out on the porch Drinking cinnamon beer with you All right, Massachusetts afternoon Staying at my cousin's place Writing love letters to you Hello and welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel. And if you haven't already guessed, today we're gonna to be making a beer cocktail, specifically a cinnamon beer cocktail. Now, is cinnamon beer a thing? Uh, as best I can tell, no. I did about 10 minutes worth of research last night. Cinnamon beer is not a thing in Massachusetts or elsewhere. There might be a couple beers out there that are brewed with cinnamon toast crunch, a couple of pastry stouts, but that's not what we're going for. We are going for a light, refreshing, porch side sipper that you can enjoy on a Massachusetts afternoon or frankly any afternoon of your choosing. To be completely honest with you, I don't normally love beer cocktails. Generally, I want a beer or I want a cocktail. I don't want both, but this version I think is good. And I think it's because there are kind of two different ways that we're gonna make it. One is gonna be more traditional cocktail served up in a coupe glass. Um, and then the other is more of like a traditional beer cocktail where it's a longer drink with more beer. It's a little bit lower proof. In the spirit, of the Blue Jean Committee, which as you can tell, I'm rocking as much denim as I possibly can right now. I'm gonna do both ways. You can see which one you think looks better. I certainly hope you'll let me know which one you like better in the comments. So without any further ado, let's get started on the Massachusetts afternoon. First, we're gonna make the long drink version. To really bring out the cinnamon flavors in this cinnamon beer cocktail, I'm adding a couple of dashes of Bitterman Chocolat Mole Bitters. Angostura bitters would also work nicely here. But could we really call this a cinnamon beer cocktail with only one cinnamon-based ingredient? No, of course not. So next we're adding three quarters of an ounce of cinnamon syrup. We're gonna balance all that out with three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Our last ingredient for now is whiskey, specifically Evan Williams bourbon. In keeping with this being a slightly lower ABV cocktail, I'm only using an ounce and a half of it. Now we're going to add ice and give it a shake. Now let's set that aside for a moment while we make our second version. The base for this version isn't going to be too different, so I'm going to speed through the bitters, lemon juice, and cinnamon syrup. I'm using the same amounts as our first drink. But for our spirit, instead of an ounce and a half of bourbon, I'm using a full two ounces of rye whiskey. This is Wild Turkey 101 rye, and I think the spicy rye notes are going to play really well here. For the beer, I had a couple different criteria I wanted to hit. First off, it has to mix well, that's a given. But I also wanted to pick something that would be easily accessible around the country. And I wanted it to ideally be from a Massachusetts brewery. I think you can see where I'm going here. We're using Sam Adams, specifically their summer ale, which is a citrusy wheat ale. I tried a couple of different beers when developing this recipe, and this was far and away the winner. And I'm just gonna eyeball it as I top off each glass with our ale. All right, there we have it. The Massachusetts afternoon served two ways. One, a long drink, good bit more beer in there, a little bit longer, a little bit easier to sip on a porch, I think. Uh, this one, a little bit classier, served up in a cocktail glass uh, and with a flamed cinnamon stick garnish, uh, which is providing a nice cinnamony aroma throughout uh, the studio right now. So let's go ahead and take a sip of this. I'm gonna remove this and we'll see how it goes. Mmm, mm. so good. Oh, that is so good. The rye, the lemon, the cinnamon, they all pair so nicely together. And then the beer, it really, it, it serves to kind of bring it all together. It lengthens it out. The, the rye that I used was 100 proof, so it's pretty potent. So the beer is actually gonna bring that down a little bit. You're not gonna get knocked on your butt with this. This is, this is just a really good drink. Um, I'm actually, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of that. I think that came together very nicely. Um, let's try this, a little bit more beer. Uh, should be a little bit more of a relaxing, chill out type drink. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that is your, that's your front porch sipper. If you're, if you're in Northampton, Massachusetts, looking for a front porch sipper, that's the one right there. Uh, it's longer, you can taste more of the beer. The, the, the notes from the rye, the spicy notes, the cinnamon, the lemon, they're all there, but they're just hidden a little bit more because it's got more of the, uh, the summer, the Sam Adams summer ale in there as well. Let's go for one more sip. 
You know, with that cinnamon syrup on the back end, it's got a nice kind of spicy finish to it. It's got a long finish because of that cinnamon syrup um, that I think works really well. Um, look, if you, can't, <laughs> if you can't tell, I really dig this one. This is the one for me. This is good too. Um, you know, and if you're on a porch uh, in Northampton, Massachusetts, it's a Massachusetts afternoon, you're looking for like a, a lower ABV situation, this is the one to go for. But, you know, maybe it's evening in Massachusetts. Uh, try that one. Try it. And sing it with me. Massachusetts afternoon. Da -da 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 -da. And drink a cinnamon beer with you. Massachusetts afternoon. Staying at my cousin's place.